Hey everyone, Will here with my flea market finds for May 14th, 2017. Uh, got washed out yesterday. There wasn't any sales uh, due to uh, a whole lot of rain. Uh, but uh, made up for it a little bit today. Um, next week is looking to be a pretty good weekend. So as long as the weather holds out, I should have a good bit of stuff to show you. Looking forward to it. Um, let me show you what I got. Um, love the uh, flag raising over uh, Iwo Jima. This was a uh, newspaper insert. And uh, Veterans Day 1968 recalls the raising of the flag at Iwo Jima. February 23rd, 1945. If I can find a frame cheap enough, uh, something off the shelf, I'm thinking about framing that up for myself. Uh, my son Nathan, he got a list of all the uh, Army insignias. Um, uh, division insignias so uh, um, they were actually free uh, a friend of mine gave me those so uh, can't beat that um, where to start let's see I'll start with spider-man here spider spider-man gumball machine still in the original plastic uh, ten bucks on him uh, Little wind up, old wind up uh, puppy. A little weird. Uh, the creepy doll. He was eight. The creepy doll. Uh, guy threw this one in for free. Uh, Kind of really weird. Uh, the knife is a good one. They had a uh, person had a whole box of knives and uh, picked through them, and this was the only decent one in the lot. Got a little bit of wax here on the uh, handle, which will clear clean off. Uh, got some age on it, but it is made by the Ontario Knife Company, uh, made in USA. Ontario Knife Company is still in business making uh, bayonets and stuff for the military. Um, so cool knife and only two dollars on that. Not sure what that'll bring. Uh, box of stencils, brass stencils. Uh, paid twelve for them, and they actually should bring around forty, as long as they're all there uh, or close to it. The decoy is cool. I've had these in the past. Uh, paid three dollars, and that is actually a salesman sample, paper mache salesman sample. And uh, I'm gonna put fifty bucks on him. Fifty bucks for best offer. They, they should bring at least forty. I might be able to hold out for fifty. Uh, the holster, good quality holster. Um, not exactly sure what that'll fit, uh, but uh, we have the uh, the company name and the model number, so we'll just plug that in and should be able to find out uh, exactly what that was made for. Um, I'm guessing some kind of semi-auto. Uh, two bucks on that. The Flying A uh, cans, silicone wax glaze. Condition is not the best. This one's in a lot better shape than the other. Um, I did find one of these in really good shape. It sold for $55. But uh, because these aren't as good, uh, you know, probably get like 40 on this and uh, 25 on that. And they were. Uh, 20 for the pair. Rosary. It's a nice one. Never looked to see if it was uh, sterling or anything. But uh, rosaries do well for me. Uh, five bucks on that. 1951 book. Lone Ranger. Uh, three bucks. Not worth a whole lot. Take a look at the, uh, the carving. It's a... Uh, 
It's had a peregrine falcon. Um, they did the uh, face pretty good. Unfortunately, it's not signed. And it's kind of weird that he's got a songbird in his talons. Um, but uh, I paid 30 for him, so I think that could be a $100 piece, even unsigned. Catcher's mask, decent shape, missing the straps, uh, but that was only 3 bucks. The uh, creamer, made in Czechoslovakia, um, where the cream comes out the cow's mouth. Uh, that was three bucks, and uh, people collect these, the creamers, but they have to come out the cow's mouth. Um, that's at least a $20, $25 piece. Brass Eagle, the quality is a bit lacking, but uh, it's a big Brass Eagle. Um, got it for eight bucks. Uh, the book is kind of neat. I believe it is Polish. And it has a date of uh, 1928 on it. Not exactly sure uh, what the uh, uh, book is. Another antique frame, metal antique frame. Uh, somebody put a little mirror in there. Got that for eight. Check out the toaster. Uh, for a Baltimore Oriole fan, it makes they made a piece of toast to show. It'll imprint the O's logo on your toast. Um, looks like it was never used. Well, maybe once. Candy holders. Um, that was uh, five for the pair. Uh, lots of uh, candy holder collectors out there. Just never seen this one. Quarters indelible cloth marking ink outfit. And uh, I guess put your name inside your clothes. Uh, it was three bucks. Um, the uh, piece of slag glass here, uh, it's got a number on the bottom, uh, that's the uh, Acro uh, slag glass, four bucks, that's about a $30 piece there, uh, a little piece of uh, Vaseline glass, hopefully it'll probably glow under a black light, uh, three bucks, I'm not sure what that'll bring, 25 and a piece of, uh, I guess you call it agate glass. No markings, a couple bucks. Um, and it's raining again. Huh. The uh, telephone, I uh, paid 30 for this, but it is nice and heavy. Um, antique. I've had good luck with old phones before. Uh, this could be a $100 phone. My son Nathan got himself a uh, P51 Mustang model. That was only uh, two bucks. A couple pieces of uh, depression glass, green depression. Uh, they were three for the set. Yeah. I think it's okay. Uh, the dog is um, a pug cast iron, and he is. He was three bucks. Love the, uh, I mean, he's just a solid piece of cast iron. Um, neat piece. The uh, Elvis uh, buttons, 12 buttons, uh, $6, and uh, I'll probably sell them all in a lot for like uh, um, 25 or so. All relatively new, probably from the uh, late 70s, uh, right after Elvis died. That one's pretty neat. Uh, still a lot of Elvis fans out there. Uh, the pictures are by Jan Korthals. 
Corthiles. And uh, well known artist. Uh, if these were originals, they would have really been good. Uh, but they're just prints. Uh, still being a print, they still should bring somewhere around $30 a piece. I paid $40 for the lot. Um, so, 40 and uh, should be able to get at least 120 out of them. Maybe a little more. Guardianware. The key with the Guardianware is that the lids are in really good shape no chips or cracks got these for six bucks a piece um 10 20 years ago uh these were like the ultimate everybody wanted guardian wear um that was for the older generations uh the newer generations they really they like the newer stuff uh, but uh there's still people out there that like the guardian wear uh, not sure what they'll bring. A um, bit of a pain to pack with those glass lids. Always got to double box those. Um, but uh, uh, we'll have to do a little research. Uh, so there you go. Check out my store, Terminal 99, on eBay, uh, which is where most of the stuff will be appearing. Still kind of a uh, little bit behind listing. Uh, hopefully get caught up this uh, upcoming week uh, because uh, hopefully have a ton of stuff, uh, new stuff uh, next week. So until next time, it's Will Yard Sales Fivalist. We'll talk again soon.